update some of our classes so that it uses so that they use textures. So let's start with our player class and let's update a couple things. So let's do private int health is equal to two. And the reason why we want to put health is because um, if our health is one, we want to be the small sprite. If our health is two, we want to have the big sprite. And in here, we want to go ahead and um, do private texture text and private buffer image sprite L sprite S and we want to go down here uh, we want to go ahead and import these and we want to do text is equal to game dot get texture we want to do oh, text and let's go ahead and import this game And we want to do sprite L is equal to text dot get Mario L and sprite S is equal to text dot get Mario S. And yeah, so right now we have this error right here for getting the texture. Um, from a game class, and we're gonna go ahead and create. Um, let's act, let's actually go ahead and do that right now. So let's go ahead and go back to this game class, and let's create our texture here. So let's do private static texture text, and let's go ahead and initialize our text our texture. So let's go ahead and import this first. And let's go ahead and initialize our texture. So text is equal to new texture. So now we have a new texture. And let's go ahead and um, yeah, let's make a getter for our texture too. So let's go down here and do public static texture get texture and here let's do return texture okay so now we have a texture that we can pull from our game class and that should be good there um, so now back in our player class we want to go ahead and um, let's go ahead and update our render function so this was temporary code um, let's go ahead and remove that and let's do if our health is equal to one um, then we do something else if our health is equal to two and then you want to do something else okay and right so if our health is equal to one, then we want to do draw image sprite s this is zero and well let's go ahead and remove this stuff. And let's do int get x int get y um, int get width and int get height um, and we want to be half the height and we want passing null here and if we're if we're at full health okay Move this stuff in here. For full health, then we want to do sprite large. 
and let's just pass in the first image from there and do int get y int get oh wait sorry this is get x and this is get y int get width int get height and null and yeah so we can keep all of that and let's go ahead and um, let's just run this and see what happens okay cool so now we have our player here right and let's get rid of that bounding box because it's kind of in the way so let's just comment this out and let's just run it again okay cool so now we're, ren we're rendering our texture for our player here and let's make our player a little bit bigger actually um, let's go back to our game class and uh, where do we create our player oh right here we create our player let's just scale it to two and let's run it okay so there so now we have our player class and let's go ahead and update our block function as well so that it uses a, um, the textures so let's do private texture text is equal to game dot get texture and private int index private buffered image sprite and let's go ahead and import all of this stuff and in here let's actually up, update our um, constructor to have an integer index and so this would be the index to our our sprite or our our, our um, tiles right so let's do this dot index is equal to index and let's do sprite is equal to texture dot get tile one right so this is getting our tile sheet one and let's go ahead and remove this temporary code now and let's do g dot draw image and the image that we want to draw is going to be our sprite and we're going to index into it with whatever index we passed in through our constructor and let's do get x and get y and get width and get height and let's do null here and let's go ahead and go back to our game and now we have to update our game um, to use our new constructor uh, for our blocks and so um, let's just pass in two here for the index and two here so you can mess around with this index to load in different blocks um, let's go ahead and run this so yeah so now you see we have these blocks in here and you can um, you can change that index to play around with the different blocks that we have in our tile sheet and finally let's go ahead and update this this pipe function or this pipe class and let's do the uh, same thing that we did with that block block class let's do private texture text is equal to game dot get texture private int index private buffered image sprite and let's go ahead and import all of this and let's go ahead and update our constructor let's have an index 
and let's go ahead and do this dot index is equal to index. So this is very similar to the block or all of this logic so far is the same as the block. But now we want to get the pipe texture. And in here, we just want to go ahead and render um, sprites so that get draw image. And let's do in here our sprite and whatever index we pass it through the con constructor. And in here, let's do int get x, int get y, int get width, int get height, and let's pass in null. Okay, so yeah, that's going to be about it for this episode. Um, I know this was quite a long episode. Um, let's just go ahead and run this one more time, actually, just to make sure. Yeah, I know this was quite a long episode to get all of our textures in and get them all, um, get all of our, our game objects to use the texture. Um, but, you know, now we have textures and um, we have all of our textures actually actually loading in. So in the next episode, I want to get into um, level design and and once we start doing that, or after the next episode, we'll see all of our different textures come into play. Um, so yeah, so that'll be really cool. Um, and I'm super excited for that episode. So um, I hope you all enjoyed this episode, learned a lot. If you have any questions from this episode, or if there's anything that you want me to clarify on, um, or just anything in general, feel free to add those in the comment section below, and I'll get to those. Um, as soon as I can. And yeah, I want to thank you all for for tuning in today. Um, and yeah, I really hope to see you all in the next episode. All right, that's it for this episode. Have a good day, guys. See you.